a constant internet connection is central to how we go about our lives. Looking up a definition, a code example, installing software, or streaming a movie are just a few examples of how we rely on the internet. In the event of an internet outage that could last days or weeks, a bit of prep, a bunch of disk space, and time to download a few resources is all you'll need to prepare. Our installer USB provides a fully working PureOS environment running from the USB drive it's on. Attach it to a computer and select it as the boot option. This feature means you can try out PureOS on a computer, and if you choose, you can reinstall with PureOS. PureOS is a Debian-based, 100% free software, truly convergent operating system developed and maintained by Purism. It's an operating system that's not based on Android or iOS. The live environment can also troubleshoot or access data from a computer that can't fully boot, so it's a great platform for disaster recovery. This is also the perfect tool to convert a computer into a PureOS computer. But how can you make that base install truly useful offline? Let's dig in. Our software repositories contain only freedom-respecting software where the source is entirely available. To install software offline, you'll need a local mirror of our repository. I'm going to use a rack mount server, but you could also use a Librem Mini, Librem 14, or even a Librem 5 with enough disk space. To create the mirror, you'll need at least 150 gigs of free disk space in this directory. We provide standard tools like aptmir, debmir, and ftp sync to create the local repository. For this example, we'll focus on aptmir. First, install aptmir and Apache on your new repository server with the following command. Next, edit mirror list with the following. You can now start the first mirror with this command. This will take a while to complete. This script will download updates to the mirror and download changes to the translation files. Copy it to sbin and add the execution bit. To update automatically every day, edit this file with the following. This will update the mirror at 9 a.m. every day. Apache's web server software will use to host this mirror over HTTP. You'll need to link a few directories to your web folder to expose the mirror. You should now be able to browse the mirror by going to the mirror server's IP. From a browser, it should look like this. To use the mirror on any PureOS computer on your network, edit Etsy apt source list with the following. Add a pound to comment out or disable the other lines and add in your repository substituting my 10.250.10.42 address with your mirror server's IP. With that done, you can now run apt update and install packages like normal. This works for any PureOS computer, including the Librem 5 phone. Using your repository mirror and the installer USB, new computers can be imaged with PureOS and software installed entirely offline. You can install documentation, games, or anything you would have been able to install from the repo before. If you've ever looked up a random question on the internet, you're probably familiar with Stack Exchange. This is an online community dedicated to solving and answering common issues. If you run into a coding question or need to know when not to use WD-40, looking up what others have done is a quick and easy way to get going. Using Kiwix from a software repository, you can offline or download a good chunk of the threads you may ever want to visit. This app has a massive catalog of indexed information. Kiwix makes it simple to download all of Wikipedia and download many knowledge base resources. This covers everything from home repair to 3D animation to geography. The Zim files themselves are the offline databases and take up quite a lot of disk space. These are the ones I decided to host locally. To search in one, select it to start browsing. You can choose an article or search using a keyword or phrase. Controlling your own media server is beneficial with an internet connection, but becomes invaluable without one. Even when the wider internet is down, your server can become a local oasis ready to stream to anything on your home network. Using a software respecting tool like Jellyfin, getting going is simple. While it's not in our PRS repositories, this is well packaged and only takes a few commands to get running. If you'd like to make sure you have this app installable in an emergency, you can easily download the .deb offline for installation. Jellyfin provides plugins for many popular smart TV platforms as well as a web interface much like other streaming services. The difference is, you are entirely in control of the content. Offline, 
have an install party on your local network and re-image your friend's computer with something that still works. Order your Purism computer at puri.sm.